what's going on builders Krosama here and today we're going to take a look at the Gundam Universe line and in particular Gundam Death Scythe which is number six in the line and a part of the second wave. Now the Gundam Universe line are six inch figures and they basically don't scale with anything. You can have the Wing Gundam the same size as the RX-78 or the same size as the Unicorn and it kind of doesn't matter. But you know they are really cool looking designs and I actually like them. So the first wave, I already had the Master Grades of all of them, but come the second wave, you know, we don't have the Barbados Master Grade in just yet, that's coming out in December, and the Death Scythe, we only have the Master Grade of uh, the EW version, so, you know, I'm actually really excited about this. Now, if you want the Death Scythe, you can pick them up over at NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code CROSAMA, so that way you can get 10% off your purchase, and we're coming in at around $25, that is the optimal price point that you want to go ahead and aim for. And we'll take a look at the front of the box. I think it looks really good. Um, honestly, if I saw this on the shelf, Vice, the old like mobile suit and action stuff that we had back in like the 90s, you know, I, my eyes would have been immediately drawn to it, especially because of that beautiful artwork in the front. Um, honestly, this is some of the best things about this line is the artwork that they put into it. But, you know, regardless, it is going to look really good in the box as well with that little clear and you can see it through the plastic. So all is well and good. Now one thing I thought that was actually pretty funny is that this kit in the States goes for about $25, whether you buy it at like Barnes & Noble or you're at GameStop or wherever your you know, local shop is. But over here in Japan, these could actually go up way more. And you see that little marked out 3300 Yeah, that was like the average price for these when I went to like Yamada Dinky and Adeon, um, roughly between like I'd say $28 and $33. But yeah, I was like, ah, I wasn't feeling that price tag. And I finally went to Yellow Submarine and they had it for 22 bucks. So they can't argue with that. And on the side of the box, you're just going to see the figure just standing up. And on the back of the box, you're going to see some nice little action poses and just a little brief description on the Gundam universe itself. And moving further down, it's going to show some articulation in the joints and a description of the Gundam Death Scythe itself. And down here is going to be the other two in the lineup, which is the Barbatos and the Banshee. Now seeing this in person, I can honestly say I'm pretty impressed. You know, I never really had the TV version Death Scythe. I don't think I've ever had the uh, the kits, you know, the old high grades, but I always loved it on the TV show. Even though I, I think the Death Scythe Hell was probably my favorite version, I think this still looks really good. And a lot of times in the illustrations, it doesn't look all that great because it looks kind of goofy and maybe way too bulky. But in this six inch, you know, figure form, I think it translates extremely well. I love the extra big shoulder pads. I love the thickness in the legs. This thing just screams beautiful. Now we're taking a closer look at the head sculpt. It looks, man, it looks so beautiful. It kind of still has that like, you know, retro 90s vibe to it, you know, with the, the kind of extended faceplate right here. But man, I just, I love it. I wish they, you know, maybe put a little bit of extra detail into like the head sculpt, maybe paint like the Vulcans just a little bit different color, put some silver in there or something. Uh, but as it is, I mean, this is really, really beautiful. Now we're looking at the body. I'm really happy they put the yellow right there in the chest for the, uh, the little vents. It looks good, man. The black looks fantastic. They got some extra little details in there. So if you want to panel line this, um, maybe if you want to do white, you want to do silver or something, you could definitely do so. I think that would look really good. And then you're going to have the little emblem right here or like a little cockpit kind of hatch. Uh, you can go ahead and paint that in as well. I'll probably paint that in red, but yeah, it looks really good. Now for the arms and shoulders, these things are just so beautiful and big and just thick oh my god and you're gonna have the thrusters right here um you know these are something i would probably want to paint silver uh i don't know i just lo I love silver thrusters and you're gonna have the arms which looks really good oh my god they look fantastic now for the waist it looks great i have no problems with it i think you know the side skirts are going to look really good uh the back skirt is going to be fantastic as well uh it's going to be just a blocky you know piece but it's still going to have some details etched in all over if you want to go ahead and panel line that now we're taking a look at the legs i think this is just probably the best part about this entire kit i don't know why but man these legs are just super cool i love the bulkiness and the thing is, bulky legs can really translate well on this kit. Um, I don't know why. I think it just it looks better. But when it, like if you try and bulk up like the RX-78 or even the wing, uh, I don't know. It looks kind of odd. But man, on this kit or this figure, 
I am just really, really digging it. And you're going to have all these opportunities for panel on, or if you want to paint inside these legs, you got more panel on opportunities right here, uh, especially on the front if you want to paint in some of these vents. I mean, you could do so. It's This is like, it's kind of a little canvas and if you just want to like you know do whatever you want to it and just enhance it you definitely can and on the backpack you are going to have a single thruster right here which actually looks really good i'm loving the colors overall but yeah the backpack is really good and you're going to have uh these front i'm guessing cameras i would have to check the lore and see exactly what these were for i don't know if they're vents or if they're just like supposed to be cameras or something uh but yeah i mean they look good as well now in terms of articulation you are going to have a ball joint right here at the neck Shoulder's gonna be on a ball joint. You're gonna have like a little peg and a ball joint right here at the shoulder, so basically gonna give you some good range of movement, which allows it to go out about that far. Swivel at the bicep. You're gonna have two points of articulation right here and right here, so gonna give you a pretty good bend. Ball joint at the wrist. It's gonna have a really good ab crunch. Jesus, that is actually, that's actually pretty good. Front skirts can move up and down and a little bit side to side. Side skirts too. Nothing at the butt flap. Leg can move out about that far. And that far out to the side. This far out to the back. Rotation at the hip. And you're gonna have two points of articulation in here and in here. Uh, it's going to be okay, but yeah, it definitely could be better. It's pretty tight. The ankle armor is going to be on a ball joint right here on the side. So you can kind of move this around. And you're gonna have two ball joints, one right inside here and one in the foot. So you can have a little bit of good movement as well as side to side pivot. Now the hands that's gonna come with this kit are going to be fists and these open hands so that way it can hold its accessories. And speaking of accessories, let's take a look at the beam scythe. And here's going to be the beam scythe. Looking really good. I actually love the color, which is going to be like this really bright, uh, glossy silver. So, I, I don't know, man. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, you're going to have some details right up here that you can go ahead and, you know, panel on and all that. Uh, but also, I mean, the handle is going to be maybe prone to scratches. So, just be careful with that. And then right here at the tip, this is going to have some movement whenever you attach the beam effect part on it. And here is the actual effect part. It doesn't look horrible. Uh, I, I don't really care for like this only like one tone green. Uh, if you put it in the shadows correctly, I mean, it's gonna have like, you know, the depth right there with the, um, the different effects. So I, I think it looks okay, but what we're gonna do is plug this right inside here. And we're gonna have the beam scythe in its entirety. And honestly, it looks pretty good. And if you just bend this up and down, I mean, you're gonna have some pretty cool poses that you can pull off with this. Now something I forgot to mention is that you can actually slide the entire beam scythe right here on the back, but it just looks kind of odd because this is supposed to shrink and just fit like right around there. Now the last accessory we're going to have is going to be the buster shield and the details in this is just as fantastic as the rest of the actual figure. Uh, underneath not really any detail but on the top I mean we're going to have some really nice looking detail and also a little articulation right here for the buster shield. And of course you're gonna have this beautiful beam effect that you just plug right here in the center and voila. And how you use this is you essentially just mount it on either part of the arms. Now the last accessory is going to be this base adapter which you can plug right underneath the death scythe and plug into any compatible action base. Now for comparison here he is next to the master grade EW death scythe and the high grade RX-78-2. So for my final thoughts on this figure, 
it looks fantastic um obviously all my pros are probably gonna go to the style that they chose um i really like the bulky legs i love the the extra big shoulders um it, it looks good i mean it still keeps the original design but they just kind of add a little bit here and there uh, a little bit extra like you know angles and such uh whereas the other one it kind of looked a little bit more blocky to me uh but they kept like the bulky legs and i i just absolutely love it i think it looks so damn cool um so this is something that i i really just love i love the colors i love the details they put into it um the price point is definitely a good plus i mean this for 25 dollars, you're getting a damn cool figure and i know the first wave really just put people off with the gundam universe line but trust me guys this is going to be a figure you're going to want to get because more than likely this thing is going to be sold out before any of the other uh gundam universe kits or gundam universe figures become sold out now for my cons i will say this the posability is going to be very limited and kind of lackluster um i did the best i could with the poses in this video but you know it's just it's not really all that great um the other con is i don't think the beam saber effect parts are really great i think they're good but i don't think they're amazing they don't really stand out um that, that could be just me i think a lot of people are probably gonna like them um also i kind of hate that you don't get an extra accessory for the handle that is shrunken down so that way you can put it on the back skirt i think if you had a shrunk down um beam scythe that'd be really cool because i would probably want to pose it with it you know on the back uh, instead of actually holding the beam scythe that may be just me as well but i think that would have looked really damn cool um in terms of other cons really aside from posability and just some color choices and all that um, i think it's fine i think the amount of accessories that you do get with uh, the different hands that's uh completely fine maybe one open hand for the left uh side i think would have been great um because i i can kind of imagine some different stylized poses um but hey that's that's pretty much all i got the, the death scythe has never been a you know gundam that had a assortment of accessories you kind of get what you get right here but other than that guys i think i think the colors amazing i think the details are fantastic so this is something i would highly encourage you to get because guaranteed this is gonna be sold out probably fairly soon, or at least it's gonna be sold out before the other ones sell out. But hey, that's it for me. If you do wanna pick up this kit, def well, sorry, I keep on saying kit. If you wanna pick up this figure, you can go to newtypehq.com and use that promo code CROSAMA, so that way you can get 10% off of this purchase, which yeah, it saves you a little bit more money, some money that could probably go to another Gundam Universe kit, or sorry, wow, uh, Gundam Universe figure. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. And like always, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.